It's Sunday morning, Justin got Jason picked up from his mom's house and we are continuing on with arts and crafts that we had started yesterday. So if you wanna see that, make sure you check out last week's video. As for this week, they have already gone ahead, put stickers on their projects that they made last night and painted. They just had to wait for them to dry before putting stickers on. And now the girls are going to be trying their hands at perler beads with dad. We're gonna do a little bit of Play-Doh play. And Justin is warming the iron over here to do these perler beads for Chandler. The boys and I are getting ready to go to the birthday party for our friends from karate, and the girls are going to be here at home with dad doing some more arts and crafts. Look at those belts. These are two Waymos. Yep. I stopped in at Walmart and got the kids a bunch of balloons and a bunch of candy boxes as well. I'm getting the bags and tissue paper that I accidentally left here at home and then I'm going to bag it up real quick before heading over to the party. Everything is packed up in this bag and we are ready to go to the birthday party. Yay! Dude, that is so cool. You have an arcade game in here. I got myself a lollipop. All the kids are out here at the water slide. Both out the time. Hi. Hi. Are they playing tag? Is that what it is? Jason wasn't even sure he wanted to come to the party. Happy birthday. Ow. Catching myself on fire over here. Sing fast. Jeez. Happy birthday. 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 But Cypher and I have finished stitching to over halfway. We now have an opening to put in the fluff. One more. I made a rainbow. All right, so the girls have finished their projects and now I'm gonna clean up and take out the trash and then we're going to have a princess party. As everyone can see, there's two types of princesses in the world. There's one that takes care of business and one that takes care of business, but either way, they both get the job done. My daughter? Who's got a hammer? I do! Because we're going to build inside projects. We're going to build some Home Depot projects and get those out of the way. Goodbye, nails, hammering you away. I made it. Can you push two? I build it. And of course, after building comes painting and stickers. We're on our way home from the birthday party. We've got four burgers that we're taking home for myself, Justin, and the two boys. We'll figure something else out for the girls just to make dinner tonight a little bit easier. But we went ahead and called it quits at the birthday party so that we could get home, have some dinner, and just get a few hours hanging out at the house as a family before bedtime. The boys have showered and are eating their burgers from the party. Justin already ate and the girls ate. I will be eating here in a minute myself. And we're taking a look again at the paper flowers that we cut yesterday and we're gonna start seeing if we can put some together. Like a cone, you're so small. So we're making them right here. Dad's over here gluing them. And Cypher is showing us we need to make it into a cone. It looks like a flower to me. I like it. We got all the pink done. We need the orange and the green. No, oh, stop, because that is so stinking cute. What are you doing in her bed? You're trying to creep with me. I said yes. And then you are trying to and I come up with my bed. But I said you guys had to be quiet, though. Oh, I know. You can't be it's talking. Funny. I remember being scared when I was younger of a thunderstorm that was in our area and my sister let me come into her bed with her and sleep with her. Cypher's little snail that she made. The girls are pen pals with their cousin who is just a couple of months younger than Chandler here. So today the girls are creating some beautiful artwork. 
so that we can send it in the mail. What are you doing? Flipping pancakes. We decided we're gonna go ahead and color our solar system mobile and make that. Because the girls actually have these little astronaut toys and some little planets as well. And I'm thinking maybe we can find a way to hang it here at the foot of the bed so that the girls can play with it at their level. The sun looks great, I love that. Her sun looks perfect. Look Cypher's planets over here are looking fantastic. And here it is all finished and hung up at the foot of the bed. Now the girls can play with their little astronauts from their Barbie house through outer space and wherever else they want to go. It's Tuesday morning and it is trash day for our family. So I went ahead and cleaned the car out, changed the trash can, made sure all the little trash cans for the kids were emptied and overall got all of the trash out of any little nooks and crannies that it may have been put into. The only thing left from our arts and crafts box is the paper flower sets, which we are going to finish today. Jason got accepted to a free sleepaway camp where we'll drop him off on Monday and pick him up on Friday. I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not, but this camp is local to where I grew up. I actually went to this camp as a child and I worked at this camp after I graduated from high school as a counselor. I love the camp. I love all that it does for youth in Florida and I cannot wait for Jason to attend and have the time of his life. My favorite thing is that we got him disposable cameras, one of them being waterproof, because for one day during the week, they spend the entire day at one of the local springs. Plus at the camp, they have their own lake and swimming pool that they do tons of activities in. So I cannot wait to see the memories that Jason comes home with. I've got this box where we've started collecting all of the essentials that Jason's going to need to go to camp, the ones that we had to buy specifically for him to take. And we've got Justin's duffel bag from his time in the Marine Corps. This thing has traveled around the world and now Jason gets to take it to camp. I pulled out a few travel games and card games that Jason can pick through to find out if he wants to take any with him to camp. I'm using the day to make sure that all of the laundry is caught up on and put away so that when he goes to collect what he needs to bring to us, everything is ready for him to go. Justin came home for lunch the girls had a snack and now they are playing with play-doh <laughs> we're gonna watch some unicorn Academy and I am slowly over time putting these flower petals together so that we can start making the flowers later today I loaded everyone up in the car and we are coming to pick Jason up from his summer camp program oh and we're like right at the entrance to the parent pickup too we're not too far back in line so that's awesome once we get Jason picked up, we're gonna go and pick Justin up from work and then we'll go home. My friend was in the area, so she stopped by to hang out with her kids. If you haven't done so already, this is your sign for doing experiments this summer in the kitchen. Yeah! Hard, 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 hard. There you go. All right, let us sit. It's not ready yet. We need to connect these two now. Hey, it's on and powering the little Sorry, timer. It's on. The cornstarch is sticking to the oils on your hands, on your fingers. Cool, dude. You can see like the ridges in your fingerprint and stuff. And now we're doing a little movie time with Inside Out. It was a long Tuesday and we didn't even end up doing everything that we wanted to get done this evening. The kids are all in bed. Justin and I are going to spend the rest of the evening together before we go to bed. And tomorrow is Justin's day off, so hopefully we can get some stuff done. Earlier in the day, I took the time to put together all of the paper flower cones and then Justin came home and put all of the flowers together and then on the stems and I just arranged them in the little vases that they came with. So now both paper flower bouquets are completely finished and ready for us to go and pick up my mom and aunt whenever they get back from their trip to Alaska. Jason is a good brother. Over the course of spring and summer, going to the Home Depot and Lowe's workshops with the kids, we have come home with tons of planters and a bunch of butterfly biomes and houses. So we went and got a bunch of flower seeds so that we could try and grow a pollinator garden. 
everybody get two planters. Just pick two planters, ones that you've made or your favorites that you see. I'm gonna put them down right here. If you see yours, can you tell me or can you reach it? Oh, that, the, the, the coral? coral? Yeah. I got these. I got this one. I got this one. Awesome, everybody's getting their dirt. That's right, perfect. Sprinkle it right inside there. Right inside, perfect. You wanna use it all, all over there. So spread them in there. So I don't think that all of these seeds are gonna be that great. So the more chances we, oh, the more chances we have, the better. Yeah. All right, you've got them all nicely spread oh, out in here. Better. They look so good. Jason, how you doing? Good. Good. There you go. I'll get all of those seeds in there. For the planters that have sticks, we're putting the name on those. For the ones that don't have a stick, we are going ahead and taping the name somewhere on the actual planter. First, I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna top off all, everything with a little bit more soil. Okay, I need a little bit more. Here is our finished and finalized pollinator garden. I really hope that something, anything grows in here. And if not, we'll just try again come springtime. Justin took the girls with him when he took the boys to karate. So I have some time alone at home while a storm is rolling in, which means it's the perfect time to sit on the porch and start a new book. Just a quick life update for this week. We didn't really mention it, but Sunday happened to be mine and Justin's three year wedding anniversary. We didn't gift each other anything and we really didn't have the time or money to go out on a date. So we're really hoping to make up for that in the near future. Another update is that a couple of weeks ago, I went to the dermatologist for an appointment and they found a mole that made them a little concerned. They sent that off for testing and we did get the results back. It was precancerous, but it was clear in the margins, meaning there was signs of cancer beginning in the mole, but it hadn't yet reached the edges of that mole to enter my body. So early screening is extremely important and I urge everybody to go to the doctor, to go to the dermatologist. If there's anything concerning you about your body, go and get it looked at. Even if that's gonna put you into medical debt, it's worth it to live in my opinion. For the rest of this Thursday, Justin's going to be doing some chores around the house, including pruning some trees around the yard. And then later on this afternoon, he and Malachi will be attending their bi-weekly Pokemon meeting. It's Friday morning and we've been doing a lot of activities and stuff at home, checking a lot of items off of our bucket list at the same time. But I'm kind of tired of being stuck at home and so are the kids. So we decided today that we were going to go to the library and spend a little bit of time reading books, playing games on the computer, playing with the different puzzles and toys that they have, and just overall getting out and having a good time. We're gonna drop Justin back off at work real quick because he had his lunch break, and then the kids and I are going to go right over to the library. Yay! Yay! This is super yummy. Good. Our library is a breakfast and lunch spot for the county, so the kids chose to get some food. Malachi is walking around looking for submarines because he's doing an activity here. Do you want to taste it? Yeah. It's yummy. Malachi finished the letter hunt and unscrambled the word, got himself a little prize, and now he's over here playing games on the computer. After the library, we went over to the grocery store to grab some items that we needed and I treated everybody to a Lunchable for lunch. Yeah. Cypher is not in her bed. Instead, you can see her moving around a stuffy behind Chandler because she wanted to sleep in Chandler's bed tonight and I'm a pushover. So I said yes and also it's too cute because it reminds me of Little House on the Prairie like Laura and Mary used to share their bed. And we're ending Friday, making sure that we have everything we need for tomorrow's Lowe's DIY workshop. It's Saturday morning. Justin is getting all of the kids buckled into the car. I am finishing getting myself ready to leave. And the kids will be building themselves a mini kinetic sandbox today. We just found out that it's Miss Barbie's last Saturday doing the workshops. Today is the girls' sixth DIY workshop, and they will be earning their Junior Builder Award. You are doing it, girlfriend. Summer. Woo -woo! These job. are a little we symbolism of our now summer. Now we do the honest. other ones. Why? Are you about ready, Mom? 
I just dug through boxes of seeds and I found exactly what I was looking for, the jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. I'm buying five packs of those and an assortment of other seed packets. But I just saw a TikTok that said it's about the time to plant your seeds for pumpkins if you want them by Halloween. The girls are going to be getting their Silver Junior Builder Award patch and all of the kids are going to be getting today's patch for the DIY Play Sandbox that they made. With which Malachi is already playing because he has finished his lunch. <laughs> We're going to plant the pumpkin seed the next week, so make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss that or any of our future adventures. 